Well, I was fortunate enough to have my father be a lacrosse coach. So when I uh, was old enough to get to the dining room table, he showed me with a salt and pepper shaker and the sugar bowl, moving things around, what lacrosse was all about. And I, also he'd take me to work and work was, he was a coach. So I wound up being the mascot. The coach's kid was a mascot on the lacrosse team. And I was just about old enough to walk. My feet didn't touch the ground when I sat on the bench, but I was involved with lacrosse uh, when I first learned to walk. A lot of coaches get into the game themselves and it's an extension of their ego. Uh, I don't have an ego. Uh, I don't uh, they say you're gonna play it my way or the highway. I, I let uh, my thoroughbreds, if I had some, I let them use their imagination. fantasy. I let them use their imagination, I let them use their uh, ideas as opposed to uh, play my way uh, because this is the play and this is what you do and if you don't do it you're off the field. I never played like that. I let them run. I always felt like a thoroughbred horse. These kids are thoroughbreds. Uh, I gave them the right to run uh, and to do what they thought they could do best. Well, Syracuse Rivers University is my life. I was a mascot on the game. I was a ball boy. I was a player. I was a freshman coach, and I became the varsity coach. So, the game has been been all my life. <laughs>